Following a carefully planned course, the Chang'e 3 probe drops to the moon's surface. On the left, a computer-generated image of events as they happen. On the right, video filmed by an onboard camera. Back at base, relief and celebration as China joins an elite club of countries who've made it to the moon. Two weeks after blast-off, so far China's mission to the moon appears to have been a success. The next test will come later today, when the Jade Rabbit, a six-wheeled rover, leaves the probe and heads out onto the lunar surface. Its onboard cameras will send pictures home. Arguably more important, the message sent to the rest of the world. There's been a big argument in the United States as to go to the moon again or not, or do something else. And the result of that is that they haven't done anything. The Chinese, in the meantime, have said, well, we want a space program. We want to put people up into space. We want to explore the moon and land on the moon. And I think one thing that disturbs the Americans greatly is the fact that the next footprints on the moon may be Chinese and not American. This is the first landing of a rover on the moon in almost four decades, China going where only the United States and former Soviet Union have gone before. The USSR captured the first pictures from the moon and landed two roving remote-controlled robots. And the ceremony of planting the stars and stripes on the surface of the moon. America, though, won the race to put a man on the moon. Astronauts taking not only the first steps, but also playing the first game of golf. That looks like a slice to me, Al. There we go. But in recent years, China has been playing catch-up. A decade ago, they sent their first astronaut into space, and they planned for a permanent space station by 2020. Broadcast live on state TV and seen across the globe, China's moon landing is the next giant leap for the country's ambitious and fast-moving space program. It's also a sign to the rest of the world that they're a contender not just in the space race, but as an economic power to be reckoned with. Claire Allen, Sky News.